So there we go. See, I'll have button. button. So welcome again everybody, again, everybody on Zoom and welcome everybody to Facebook Live as well. Uh, my name's Adam Berry. I'm the host of Sitting in the Power. So this is a, a, a discipline that is um, inspired by Glenn Edwards, a, a wonderful tutor of the Arthur Finley College that's now in the spirit world. Um, and this is about well-being. This is about your purpose. This is about you remembering that connection that you are. So I like to call it the spiritual gym. So welcome to people that are regular and welcome to people that are new here. Um, as always with within this, it's, it's about being an online spiritual community that is supporting physical spiritual communities. So if you are representing a church center or spiritual community, then please do put them in the comments box so we can let them know that they're being represented and supported. Um, it's always wonderful to, um, to know that they are being represented and supported. Um, so anybody that's here for the first time, just to let you know, really my perception of um, when I'm talking about the light within or the spirit within or where our soul is, um, I believe it's where our solar plexus is. Just here where we feel the emotions. I don't think you can see my hands there, but they're just below here. Um, where we get the butterflies, the feelings, the emotions, the joy, the anxiety. This is the power that is within us. So this is where our intuition is, our survival mode. Um, you know, this is our gut feeling. So um, this is the place of where we start to be within the presence of the power. Because all we're doing really is acknowledging the power that is within us, because it's already there. Um, the power is already, uh, already around us as well. Um, we're just remembering it because the day-to-day -day life that we have in this human experience and whether it's in our work, in our home, in our families, we can forget about the beautiful connection that we are and the, beautiful, the beauty that is within and around us. And uh, this is just a time of remembering. And, and as we're in that state of remembrance, it helps us to um, engage and embrace the soul of us, the soul purpose, the soul unique pathway of the of the journey that we all have as individuals um, as part of a collective because I believe when we engage within this this power and remember it, what we're really doing is engaging in our humanity of how we deal with one another and it also unfolds and um, helps us to to know what spiritual qualities that we have the faculties the abilities whether that's through mediumship spiritual communication whether that's through speaking through art through uh, writing um through whatever you know we've we've all got our own unique abilities and it's about understanding those and being able to express them because life is an expression of the soul and you have something to express within this world so let's start to unfold that let's start to engage with that and in turn it helps within your everyday life it enables you to evolve to change uh, to become the person that you're meant to be to become whoever it is that you were meant to be within this world so it's it's all exciting it's all wonderful but it's also can be quite challenging because for us to be able to engage within our purpose sometimes it's not always pleasant it can be quite chaotic um, i believe for us to understand the soul and the relationship of our soul and the power sometimes it takes chaos and contemplation for us to really um move into where we're supposed to be so and that's change and change is inevitable and we never stand still uh, we're always moving in one way or another with the vibration of of our soul and um, with each other because life is constant life is flowing i like to see and 
for people to sort of understand that when we sit in the power um, it's just a terminology and it's a buzzword that you'll you'll hear but really it's being within the presence of God um, and if you were to take away the religious side, side of of that because God obviously is the thread that runs throughout all religions it's just understanding that it's the universe it's the creator it's the source however you perceive that to be so if God isn't a palatable word for you change it to life change it to the source change it to the creator and then you can start to lift the barriers of, of what that word actually means so and actually be and once you start to understand that relationship of that beauty of life of the source then it doesn't matter what it's called so i'm just going to say a few hellos first of all so we've got hello helen in the corner hello tracy hello iris hello keith hello elaine hello mabro hello mira hello helen hello m hello sharon hello sonia hello kerry hello anita hello christine hello carol hello martin from woking spiritualist church hello lizette hello caroline hello manny hello gay hello dominic hello Atis. hello sandra and hello liz and i think we've got another page there and hello stefan um from the connections within and hello julia so welcome everybody we're now going to start remembering the beauty that is within you and around you remembering life itself and as we do that we just close our eyes and we just start to focus on the breath the in-breath and the out-breath On each in breath and out breath, just allowing a sense of peace and relaxation to flow from your head down into your neck and into your shoulders. Just allowing that peace and relaxation to flow, relieving any tensions, any strains, as on each in breath and out breath. The flow of that peace and relaxation goes down your arms and into your hands. Feeling the relaxation and the peace as it flows down your spine, as it flows down your chest and into your tummy muscles. And that peace and relaxation flows into your hips, down your thighs, down your legs, into your ankles and down to your feet. Just allowing on each in-breath and out-breath that circulation of peace and relaxation flowing round your physical body, bringing a stillness to the body as the mind quietens, the thoughts become softer. as your physical body is the foundation for the spiritual experience you're about to embark upon. And to start this journey, we must go within. Within where the solar plexus is. This is your light, this is your power, this is your spirit within. This is your soul. Just being within awareness of that light within. And on each in breath and out breath, just allowing that light and your awareness of that light and that power within to expand, 
to grow bigger and bigger. As your awareness takes you to feel bigger than your physical body on each breath that you take, the in-breath and the out-breath, feeling that sense of being bigger than your physical body as that light within you shines out. The beauty within you shines out. As on each in breath and out breath, your awareness of the light that you are within fills and illuminates the whole of the room that you're in. You become one and all that is everything in the room. As the beauty within you fills the whole of the room, this is your spirit. As you are just remembering this awareness, You are your own awareness. As on each in breath and out breath, your awareness takes you outside of the room. And your awareness becomes the power of nature, going beyond what the eyes can see in your everyday life. As your senses are aware of all and everything that encompasses nature, that you have become nature. You are the flowers, you are the trees. You are the rivers and you are the power of the waves in the ocean. As you are every living thing within nature. You are the breathtaking views from the mountain tops, as you are the power of the sun. You are the power of the moon. You are the clouds in the endless skies, as you are the seasons. You are the wind, you are the rain. You are nature. You are just remembering nature. Your awareness is the breath of life, which is nature. You are just remembering, remembering your connection, which is never disconnected. Sensing what the beyond what the eyes can see. As now on each in breath and out breath, your awareness takes you to worlds within worlds as you've expanded within the beauty of the room that you're in, you've expanded within the beauty of nature. For your awareness and your beauty to expand and remember worlds within worlds, the 
place and places where our loved ones, friends and inspirers that have all gone before us all reside, but are just here in observation as they know and understand your unique pathway of the soul, your purpose, your journey, your abilities, your faculties, and they celebrate you, they encourage you as they love you. And you feel the experiences of worlds within worlds, you feel the intelligence. But most of all, you feel the excitement, the love. And with that love and excitement, it's now time on each in breath and out breath for your awareness of the spirit within you that beauty that shines bright for you to acknowledge the oneness, the wholeness and connectedness of the great spirit, the source, the creator, God, the universe, however you perceive this beauty of life to be, you are it. And you no longer know where it starts or you end because you and it are one and eternal. As your awareness takes you to a pure awareness, a pure consciousness, a place of now, place in time which is timeless as you are the living prayer you are the intention of your soul and your purpose as within this great power that you are the soul which is the vehicle of your spirit is ignited, ignited and awakened bringing awareness to all of the talents and potential that your soul holds that is unique to you bringing the purpose of why you are here within this world as now you are open to divine knowledge and understanding as this is the place that has all the answers to your questions as nobody knows you better than your own soul As now you are within the state of the pure awareness. You are life itself. Just allowing this beauty, this soul time with the divine as you are in that state of remembering. The amnesia is gone for you to remember this beautiful connection of life.
Just allowing yourself to bathe. In this beauty, in this power that sustains you, that runs throughout everything and everyone, and nothing and no one can live without. You are it. As you are within the place of the sacred of all sacredness, being the gift, the greatest gift that you can give to yourself is this power of now. Knowing that whatever is needed for the soul is being given to the soul. Just allowing yourself to surrender. If it helps on each breath, the breath of life. And to surrender we must trust. I trust spirit. I trust spirit that I'm exactly where I need to be in this moment, in the now. Whatever it is that you do within your life, all aspects, abilities, skills, talents, all your special qualities are enhanced and empowered. As the soul of you is ignited into his expression of humanity the humanity of service that you all are to the world. This world is all about connection and remembering. We are never disconnected. There's always love. There's always this power within and around that sustains us for eternity. You are open to eternity. You are limitless. You are the beauty beyond belief, as in this state, you are spiritualized. (laughs) 
as this power and this light that you are illuminates the whole of the world. Lifting even the heaviest hearts and of minds. Lighting and bringing light to even the darkest of places. As our intention is for the positive change. to help each other and to inspire each other to heal each other as this intention goes throughout to all of those people in power all over the world that make the decisions for the world in which we live inspiring the hearts and minds with actions and deeds of peace. And those actions and deeds of peace ripple throughout their countries, causing a wave, a wave that unites the world as one of healing, of love, of understanding and compassion. the wave of spirit, the one spirit that connects us all, and that wave ends where it began with you, as that power and light of the great spirit permeates through your skin. through your bones, through your bloodstream, through your organs, healing all ailments of the mind, of the body, of the emotions and of the nervous system, replenishing and rejuvenating every cell. No cell is missed. As the whole essence of you is spiritualized, healed, awakened, bringing the clarity to whatever is needed within your life at this time that helps all aspects of your life within your homes, within your families within your friendships, relationships, workplaces, even places you haven't been yet. The inspiration is there for the expression of your soul to shine a light of service upon everyone and all that you meet. for the betterment of the world in which we live, for the change that is needed, the new wave. That's all we have to do is just remember this place just by the breath. The breath takes you to this place, this place of clarity in a second. You are always connected, you are never disconnected, you just need to remember and remember you are a miracle. As now we start to focus on the breath once more, the in-breath and the out-breath. 
as we start to remember the room that we're in, the room where it all started, the room that is filled with the beauty of you, as you, the spirit within you illuminates the whole of this room. So we just bring ourselves to that place. As we start to remember our physical body, the foundation of which all this started, the vehicle of your human life, the vehicle of this world. We just bring ourselves back with the breath as you feel the spirit within you. Bringing that presence that never leaves you as you bring back the clarity, the relaxation, the love that will sustain you today as it will tomorrow, as it does for eternity. As now, bringing the physical back into the body by wiggling the fingers and the toes. As this sit in the power session comes to an end, and just taking some water if you need to, and opening your eyes when you're ready. So thank you everybody for attending. I think that was probably the um, the most that anybody's been on here this time. I was just looking on the Facebook Live and we had over uh, 35 people on. So it's we've gone into like our 60s with people being on, on doing Sitting in the Power together, which is amazing. So thank you everybody for, for attending. I hope that you've enjoyed uh, tonight's session. As I say, it's always a pleasure for me to host this um, because I feel as I'm hosting, I feel inspired to say different things each week. So even though we're going on the same concept of sitting the power to build, um, build our awareness of the power, it seems to go off in different directions. And, it, and I believe that is whatever is needed for you at this time. So um, whatever clarity it is that's needed for you, um, I know that we've got some people that run churches here and we've got some people that, you know, are obviously doing their spiritual work and of service. And and I believe that, um, this, well, this was the reason why I brought Sitting in the Power into the church that I ran at Rottenstall um, four years ago now. And that was um, the one thing that I could do was to bring Sitting in the Power in on a Monday evening. And I felt as long as we bring that in when people come to the to the church and we, we did it solely just by sitting in the power um, the rest is guided by the spirit so we bring the spirit into the church we bring the spirit and the awareness of that then everything else will be inspired along the way for us to sustain what would happen in the church so anybody that does run um, a church or is involved in a church, I think it is a, a wonderful thing to, to have sort of like a group, um, especially committee members, to to do this exercise together and just see how you feel inspired to uh, to move with the church and, and how you how you would like to um, maybe move it forward um, and how you're inspired with different ideas because it, it is actually wonderful uh, to do that and especially if you've got that collective mindset of of the people of service that want to provide a a great service for those people and their communities so it's just an idea that's just dropped into my mind that so whatever for whatever reason somebody may need to hear that today but obviously um if you don't have a church um it's a great way of just being of service in your own community uh, through friendships through family or, or whatever so 
whatever it is that you are to the world, that's how you're expressed through this. So, and obviously we have a human life to live. And as my great mentor, God bless her, Mavis Patilla would say, you can't be too heavenly of no earthly use because we have this life to live and you know we've we've got to live it in the best way that we can but we can't be too uh have our head too in the clouds with things because we've got to be on this level to be able to connect with society to be able to connect with humanity so um just don't don't forget that as well so i'm gonna leave you all there now i hope that you uh, if anybody has felt benefit from this, then please do share it. It's on my page. It'll be it's on the recorded page. So, um, and just invite people if they'd like to come next week, and and I'll see you the same time next week. So take care, everybody. Thank you for coming. Bye.